Alright, will you now give us wine? I like how they say all the same things that they did before. Yeah, they sure do. Not Maybe here. Maybe we use the bucket at the like pump facility at the lake. There is a an additional dude here now. That's true. Need wine? I, I do need wine. I want to believe he, that that would have been the very first thing he asked you regardless. <laughs> But don't... Oh, you just gave it to us. You can have Wait. wine, but you're not allowed to drink it. Wait! It's a bucket of wine, but it has nothing to do with our bucket. All right, put the empty bucket on top of the dude, the wah -wah de dude's head. Do it. I believe. But, but they're no longer mice. Yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the thing. They're no longer mice. Therefore, they're no longer here to help you. Hmm. In fact, they were never here to help you before because they weren't mice. They were humans turned into mice. They're telling mm. you to go find a mouse. <laughs> I These don't guys know are all too I drunk to this. help you. <laughs> Let's see if we can find a witch. A cute witch at that. I, I do appreciate just how fast this game cruises when you feel comfortable doing things. Yeah. Like, the two oh. hours I played Notice. went pretty slow. Water. But that's but that's largely because I had no idea what I was doing. Um, <laughs> but then you put it in the hands of someone who does know what they're doing, and yeah, game goes pretty quick. Oh, there we go. It did just need to be that guy, I guess. Baby pink. Kid mission. Peach flower. Sure. I, I don't want anything to do with the car. Please get me away from the car. Are you sure that you don't want car? We will save that for next time. <laughs> we. Oh, you can actually go in the water here now. It wouldn't even hurt you. Uh, except that's not water down there. That's instant death. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you can't go in instant death. I don't think that works for stunning, because I was definitely able to stun those before with yeah, regular don't... weapons. <laughs> baby pig. <laughs> Clearly the baby pig is the most powerful of all uh, of all weapons. It's the secret weapon. It's the joke weapon. And having played many RPGs, I, we all know that the joke weapons tend to be some of the strongest. Sure. Why did you have a pig snout on your door? Don't know. Whatever. The underwater pig bag. Well, I'm assuming we need to be able to go underwater for this area. Oh, that's because this whole area is flooded. Got it. There sure is. Hey, buddy. He really what, likes what fish. What do you have to say? Oh, he's upset. 10,000-year-old man? How dare you address me so <laughs> casually. I'm Mr. 10,000-year-old oh, man. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> Brendan, how did you know? <laughs> oh... You must be the 100-year-old man and the 1,000-year-old man. That's Mr. 100-year-old man and Mr. 1,000-year-old man to you. Thank you very much. 
Kumba's not having any having of this shit. Communicating. <laughs> Through their crystal balls, they ponder the orbs. How that actually checks out. Trick village. What's the trick? There's math ten math beads. beads with numbers. Math is the trick. Got it. <laughs> Wow, you sound like a dick. All right, we need to, we need to crunch some numbers. Have to be able to dive. Sure do. Can you teach me how to dive. Don't give me dirty looks. <laughs> the mermaid came by to see me. You, interesting. Okay. She found an important item in the waterfall. Well. You didn't lose it if you just found it again, but all right. But you can't get oh, to it. I see. So depressed. But just maybe, maybe you can function. She's resting at the haunted mansion right now. I'm watching you, old man. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Did, did we just find the thing she was looking for? I think we found the thing that lets us talk to and find her in the first place. Oh, OK. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, that well, is the waterfall, so. Huh. I think we may have found the thing she was looking for that she could not get to. I'm just saying. Got all the. No, we have. We obviously have not. Well, I mean, we got a raft for a reason. That's true. Although, shouldn't the raft be going the opposite direction if it's following the current? Because, like, you're not doing anything to steer this thing. Like, it should be going downstream over the waterfall. <laughs> sure sounds like you're bad at figuring out what currents are, Brendan. You know, you got me there. Oh, I need this to flip. That's better. Those I do remember we got already. <laughs> Were we not going to go kid. talk to the mermaid? We are. I believe if I remember correctly, and I don't. For some reason, I thought I remembered seeing her there. So... I only know this because I kept looking up the map for for this area, but distinctly on the map, it shows a mermaid <laughs> in one of the rooms. Oh. Uh oh, I see. So if you get back on the screen with the big barn doors on it, uh, that's that's the side that you need to be on. I understand. Uh, is it this one? Okay, it's not that room. I think it's the room just to the, like, up and left of you. Yeah, the same room that we got the stone bo stone boomerang before. Yes. Yep. All right. <laughs> Uh, you mean this necklace? The one that was literally right outside the dude's house that you talked to earlier? It was locked, though. Oh, that's true. She didn't have the key for it. That actually makes a lot of sense. Well, thanks. And that's why it was important that the 10,000-year-old man knew that we had talked to the 1,000-year-old man, because that's how we got the key. We've come to the right person. 
if, if you can get the thing that you need to die for, then you will clearly have learned how to dive. Yes, yes, I understand. So, Toomba just needed is... to understand the concept of what going underwater was. He's never taken a bath. Oh, he's going for it. He going for it. <laughs> okay, now angle your body downwards <laughs> while doing that. It's not hard to learn how to do it. Try pressing down. Now I drown. Also did not it. I also didn't press anything. Now we just stay on this screen and watch Toomba drown as we start hearing the sonic do 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 music. <laughs> now, just like that, get the item I need. I didn't press anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not pressing anything. Mighty fish food. I am still actively not doing anything with the controller. It's a, it's just an auto scroller at this point. It did all of that automatically. Auto level. Here's some Hooray. mighty fish food. That thing you just collected. I don't know about it either, but I needed it, clearly. What do you mean the mighty fish will appear? What the fuck is a mighty fish? So yes. And what just... bodies of water specifically do you need to put it into? Also, you can move under the water. It would certainly appear so. And it doesn't look like you've got like a breath meter or anything either. Nope, this game's good. That does mean there is a lot of water options available to me now, though, in this haunted mansion and just in general. That's true. Do you want me to pull back up the map and tell you where there was water? Here for one. Yep. Uh, this is the only other water water area on this particular side of the map. Great. And it's worthless. <laughs> Remember that guy for another day, though. Uh, honestly, I don't see anywhere else where you need to die for anything in this mansion. Understood. I am leaving. Mighty f fish food? Can I, I wonder, <laughs> is that what I'm supposed to use on that screen? Maybe. I have no idea what you use the mighty fish food for. I can check real quick before flying off on my magic dog. Or what Mighty Fish is. Turns out you're actually playing the Pokemon game. You've now collected the flying dog. Next, we're going to get the Mighty Fish, who's a fighting type. Uh... <laughs> this is a big old lake. Surely there's something crazy here. I feel like we need some kind of lizard as well. What? Oh, and we have baby pig. So. Oh boy, we have options, don't we, Brendan? <laughs> oh, we got options. Oh, and if we go back to the village of all beginnings, we can go through that door. Uh, yeah, old pawn. Or no. I want to go wait, to the wait, old no, pond because I want to go underwater. I was thinking of a different door. My bad. I was thinking the door on the beach, uh, where you could let them go, then go into the mansion. Like that's the door I thought they were talking about being open, but not quite. Oh, hello, <laughs> turtle. Oh, that's right, turtle saved you. And there's also frog who you saved. They're having a grand old time. Yeah, I can't seem to communicate with them. But what if you gave them mighty fish food? <laughs> I like where your head's at. What if you put them in a bucket? Oh, there's a fish now. That, that maxed out my fire experience. Um. About that. Didn't you need to do that in order to complete 
the mansion in no, the first didn't. place? Uh, no, you didn't actually. Okay. Oh, you're evil. That is not a fish friend. Oh, you're evil. Is that a fish friend? No. That is not a fish friend. I don't know if you can open the chests right now. Okay, I was, you know, there's always room to be wrong. You have to, that's what it looks like when you jump. Can I go through the holes? No. Well, I'm glad we've got the zoomies. Yes. The fish are not your friends. Oh, geez, the fish are fast, too. <laughs> really glad we got the zoomies. Oh, 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 okay, game. Haha. -ha. Uh, not the place I think you want to be. Oh, ho. I'm assuming that this area will all get drained of water when we finish the thing. And then I'm very curious what's going to happen to these fish. Will they still just be here, but just like flopping on the ground? Oh, you I don't know, know what I haven't been doing? Oh. Blue. Okay. Well, we've now found the two other experience things. Yeah. It we didn't just look need the like experience. the experience. It didn't look like the fish gave you experience, but maybe this, the blue fish specifically give you blue experience. I don't know. Yeah, I wanted to at least try. Well. This is my life now. <laughs> it doesn't look like they give you experience of any kind. Well, I mean, they give you like 500 AP, but it doesn't look like they give you a colored experience. Yeah. I mean, at least they're not unkillable. Yes, that is quite helpful. My priority right now? I want that key, old man. Yeah, no kidding. I should have been counting how many beads you got. I can always just look. That's true. Sure would be nice if they were in order, though. Let's fix that. <laughs> Watch them still not be in order. One, two, three, four, five, we missing six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we just need one more. Okay. Well, I now understand why this is Trick Village. Because it's all sliding block puzzle. Or it's all, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, there it is. A. Hey. I'm pretty sure that had said uh, eight on it, though. It really you looked like wanna, it had an eight on it. You might want to slow down the footage and double check that one. <laughs> it really looked like it had an eight on it. Oh, Oh right. Well, uh, Baron. Save me, dog. <laughs> Can, yeah, oh, I, didn't I was wondering so. if Baron could go in water. I was assuming not. Not quite. We must be getting close to those pump rocks. Yeah. Like. Nope. Okay. There must be an it's area we haven't cool. unlocked yet that has them. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just gonna go straight in your room, old man. With the power of flying dog, anything is possible. Just go straight through the roof and chimney. We. And there was also that underground area in the, uh, in the 
forest that we've now unlocked with the elevator. True. No hard feelings, son. Just had to test your strength. But I don't think that had anything to do with strength. It didn't. You done it, huh? Your what duty? Was my duty? What was it? For you to learn how to dive and to get the evil pig bag. You haven't gotten the evil pig bag. You're a, you're a treat. Which reminds me, <laughs> you need to get the evil pig back. <laughs> sure do. Thanks for the key, old man. The thousand-year-old man said I had to. The oh, story are we gonna of the get evil cutscene? pigs. All right, Toomba, sit down. You're going to have... Oh, better ask the million... Oh, okay, we're not going to 100,000. We're going to million, straight to million. Got it. Yeah, he's the oldest of the elders. Tell you where the evil pigs derive their power from. Yeah, can, can gold. you just call them on your crystal? <laughs> Key to the underground maze. So now we can go underground. They would we would have run into a hard stop. I see. Okay. Fair enough. Be careful. Well, we have the key. But here's the thing. It's I'm pretty sure it's very easy to get the next key. Like immediately. And I'd rather have both before just, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd much rather just have all of the keys and then go get all of the treasures <laughs> rather than backtracking again once we yeah. get the next one. But we've made some major progress. I think this might actually be a pretty good pausing point. I think so too. We've got a pretty good idea of where we need to go next. We've also got this flower who is just going to be a nuisance. I do want to show you something, if I remember correctly though. Something to keep in mind for later. Okay, we've made him blue, which tells me we need to then hit the blue flower with the red flower, or vice versa. Yeah. So, a little sneak peek of what I may or may not do to come. All right. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying Toomba. As of recording this, uh, we actually have, you know, videos going up of it now. So haven't haven't gotten to see response yet, but I hope you guys are liking it. I'm a big fan of this game, and hopefully it's showing. <laughs> it's, it, it's just a treat to play when you feel comfortable with the controls. Oh, absolutely. I feel like this game is kind of like Donkey Kong 64. Happens. I feel like this game is kind of, sorry, not Donkey Kong 64, uh, Diddy Kong Racing, where mm. when you when you don't know how to control the game very well, it's very easy to get very frustrated with it. But the moment you figure out how the controls really work, you just fly. <laughs> yeah. It, it's worth giving a shot and just spending a decent amount of time in the starting areas, getting a feel for Toomba and how Toomba wants to control. Yeah. Once you get a decent grasp on it, the rest of it'll just come with it. It's harder stuff, but it, it'll come with it. And you always have the funky parasol to uh, slow things down a little bit <laughs> to make platforming easier. Oftentimes to a fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but until the next time, catch y'all then. See you later.